Ladies and gentlemen, once again it is for the 712th time the Mason and Friends show featuring that dude called Jew, aka his Junus. Hey girls! As well as his black handness, aka Sir Chokes a lot. Yeah. Me, I'm Mason, aka El Mahoney. Welcome to the Mason and Friends show. What's happening, y'all? What's good out there today? Now look. To start off in a horror realm. Yeah, it's a horror-ish movie. Sci-fi horror. Oh, fuck. Sci-fi horror. Aliens? Take the S off. Alien. Yeah, buddy. Okay. There we go. Got one in. All right. That's how we're going to damn near end the new year here. That's it. Y'all motherfuckers, y'all back at work. I'm back at work with y'all motherfuckers, too. You know, we are at the Christmas now. Now we Yeah, the next the episode year. is going to be the f- uh, first of the year. Yep. Apparently. Yep. Yep. Show New, up Year, New Year's. Oh, bit. oh damn! I didn't make a motherfucking drink. Well, you can go make one. You can go make one. Gave you time. You had the time. Go make, right make one real quick. We things. did. We yeah, got I'm gonna this. Give me, I'm gonna give me one in a second. Oh, yeah. yeah, you know we ain't gonna stop the show. Look, he's gonna get one when we're in the middle of getting into a good conversation. Yeah, he's gonna as get, soon as it gets yeah, going, good. I'll let y'all I'll start talking about me or to me, and then I'll go get a drink. <laughs> oh, now that y'all done yeah. me. Now that y'all talking to me, I'll yeah. just go ahead. I need a drink. Now that there's something now that I could defend myself yeah. against. Uh-huh. I'm feeling pots now that I got to talk. I Hold need on. to step away and fill up this here drink. Said you feel it parts. Because he's been drinking rum flavored water all day. Yeah, hell yeah. That's like I said, it. man, putting a half a shot of water or a shot of Water in my two shots of of uh, alcohol, and then by eight drinks, I got I don't drink a whole cup of water, man. How y'all like that? Safety first. <laughs> Good on that? you, man. I like your you're, be, you're becoming an adult now. Fuck so yeah, I'm growing the either, fuck up, look, bro. It's either your water and down your liquor, or your flavor enhancing your water. Oh yeah, whatever you want to have, not a dozen. I'm calling it healthy. It's That's a, what I'm calling it. I'm calling it healthy. No, it's a, it's a water flavor <laughs> enhancer. Healthy drinking. Okay. For healthy sure. drinking. There's no denying that it's a, a water. That's healthy drinking. That's shit on that thing. ingredient. That's healthy alcohol. Mm-hmm. What I do is, see, I add water to my rum, and then I drink it anyway. That's how I get best of both worlds. Hydration is key. That's a healthy alcohol. Hydration is key. We, what we do is we change the term, we change the definition, and we just tell you it is what it means. That's really all you got to do nowadays. You just take my word for it. That's it. I'm telling you what you need to know. No fact checking. You don't need to fact check nothing. Well. I done told you oh, what the answer was. On. Alcohol well, and water. It's water and alcohol. Well, when we went to the strip club. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all went to the strip club. What happened? How'd it go? Did you find Penelope? Was Penelope around? Penelope wasn't there. So you, Penelope uh, moved on. Penelope gone. Uh, but we wasn't even. Uh, she like a CNN now, I, I, I think. But uh, that you place think ain't Penelope's even, working yeah. at like, CNN. Like bitches ain't even there somewhere. no more. You know what I mean? <laughs> like she's there, dental dental assistant or some shit like that. You know what I'm screaming? She's she at least got a kid and though. slowly yeah. got her life together. Yeah, I think she, dental yeah. assistant's the ticket. I don't know if she's got a kid or not. That's beyond my knowledge. But I'm not in. I don't have sources like you do, Mike. Yeah, I'm telling you, she got a kid. She's Good. He is it's, it's Mike his finds sources, things out, sources. Look at that. You're looking at his sources, man. What the fuck we talking about here? Sources. We talking about practice. Sources. We're talking about. Pra- we're not talking about playoffs. We're talking about practice. They were who we I thought they sources. were. Sources. Sources. We're talking about look, fucking look, sources. We got sources now. The sources they, they are who we thought they sources. were. Yeah, it's so, left hand so, and it's right hand. <laughs> so we, we went over there to fucking. <laughs> we went to strip club. Naturally, it was fucking uh, eight degrees up that bitch, right? So they won probably but about uh, twelve uh, people up there, and uh, the one there was a whole there's about a five pack of this of young cats. There's one real young cat who ain't never seen vagina in his life. Cause when he come back from the, the little lap dance area, he was uh, he open. was fucking he was turned to fuck around. Yeah. Like whatever. If he was gay, he wasn't gay no motherfucker more. He loved vagina. You that, know what I'm saying? Like that boy was in fucking heaven, dog. He wasn't really spending much money because you know they hit him with, oh, it's his first time, and then you know they'll, they'll uh, slide on over there, 
there, you know what I mean? Blood just in the his water. first time fucking then fucking puckering the ass just right all up in his face and he just, you know, wipe the drool away and then just carry Fresh on about fish. his day, you know. This one chick come over there. She she fucking she was doing some shit over there, like puckering her fucking all the holes all at the same time and everything. Like I think she puckered her belly button when she was puckering her ass and her fucking tank. Like all the things were moving up in that bitch. I I you know, do you know me? And she got done. I leaned up on in there over the bar a little bit. I said, Man, you, you fucking amazing, man. Merry Christmas to you, man. And Jay like, oh, man, bro, you, you we gonna have to leave already, you know. I mean, I'm like, no, we good, you know, we good. You was ready to blow in a booty hole, wasn't you? Uh, not, not uh-huh. so much. Uh-huh. <laughs> it was cold in there, man. It was cold in there, bro. It was, it was, uh, so, hey, it was because <laughs> it was cold in there, you wasn't going to blow in a well, booty hole. I, nah, um, nah. <laughs> not there. It was, <laughs> it was too cold to blow in the nah, booty I hole? Mean, I'm not going to do anything there. Yeah, maybe she wanna go to Walmart House and then the hotel after. Then yeah, I might blow in that booty hole, so but not, gotta, not in that atmosphere. You gotta work that's your not, way up. That's to not it. a booty hole blowing it. Uh, but, but, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, no. Because I've seen you. We've been in a room together with bitches, and I've seen you fucking stick your tongue out and try to catch a you know a lick. I have licked a stripper before, yes. I have. I have. <laughs> Alright, I have So blowing a booty hole isn't that extreme. I, yeah, all right, all right, yeah, all right. Um, touche, motherfucker. Touche, all right. Touche. You know, hey, I good. love women. You no. know, what I mean, in something, you know, I mean, no disrespect, but some women just look fucking delicious. I yeah, mean, and no disrespect at all to women in their body, but they look fucking delicious. You know what I mean? That's why some of my lesbians because women look fucking delicious. They like the taste I mean, of each other. Fuck. I can't blame. I think if I was a chick, I'd be a stripper and a lesbian, I believe. You know what I mean? I'd be a stripper to pay my bills, but I'd be a lesbian for fun, you know what I mean? Hold on, no, no, no. That's right. Okay, all right. <laughs> and yes, and yes, I could. I had to get up from the bar, but yes, I could date a stripper because to have a fucking chick just doing, just, just, mm, just doing her little magic right on that, just, just in the living room, just for you, just lounging, drinking, smoking a joint. Yes, please, fuck, yeah, fuck yes, please. Fuck yes, please. I mean, all day long. Now, look, don't take this the wrong way, bro, but I don't think you would be a good stripper. I don't have moves enough to be a good stripper. I no, already know plus that. Plus, your body is already broke up, so if you took the female version of you that's broke up with a fucked up shoulder, fucking all this other shit Oh, I wouldn't need to do you. any of those things. I'd be stripping right out the gate. You know, 18 yeah, in the day, I'm out there. I'm si- they signing me up. But see, hold on. No, 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 no. We're so, talking a female version of him. But a female version of you at this age exactly. would be broke up ass, broken body parts. But the difference would be, if this fool had for JJ, when he hit 18, he would have been at the strip club shaking that thing. But he would have been like, he'd have been like, That's hey, what I'm saying, I, so I wouldn't have time for softball. No, be, but, but you be trying to fucking climb up them poles and do all kinds of crazy tricks. Nah, yeah, that's but true. you just stretch. Nah, that's true. Yeah. Ain't no stretching. You yeah. think stretching nah. is this motherfucker. This you remember when the bitch fell off the pole and exactly. broke her jaw? Broke her whole well, she she broke, broke her fucking well, mouth that's, off. That's, that's, that, you know, she you know what she did? Up there. She kept twerking that bitch. Yes, she did. She sure the fuck did. That's what she got up. She kept twerking with her jaw hanging down. That's a committed ass woman. Her jaw was literally hanging in the stream. She's like, God damn it, I need rent paid. It was hanging in the You don't in need the to make that I mean, skin of mouth. That many moves to, uh... <laughs> you, to, you the okay. one sitting here, the, I ain't gonna tip a bitch unless I, she do something that's special. Exactly. That's just unless me, she though. does something so, special. I know, but that's just me. That's not everybody else. You All the motherfuckers throw money out like it ain't shit. nothing. Like, if I had my body, yes, I'm not gonna, I'm not but, gonna make that much as a stripper. But you as a stripper, as an 18-year-old... With these 12 I have here as Eight. a stripper. I ain't, I ain't gonna make no money. You know Look what I mean? Look at 18 year old you. One ass I got. Yep. As a girl, you gonna be out there like I'm gonna make these here men see something like they ain't never would, seen look, before. You, you had seen... spun around the pole and caught air with your JJ lips like a fucking flying squirrel Damn. and yeah, flown would. across the fucking stage, and motherfuckers would have been like. Okay, let me put an extra dollar now. Going like this. That's some lip, lip, you lip liquor. <laughs> God damn. That's, I don't know how much I'm paying. Look, look, no. I'm saying. But, for that. yo, you remember Players Club, right? Remember when the strippers got the fight in the back? 
He would have been that motherfucker fighting in the back because he's going to be talking shit to these bitches. Oh, y'all bitches up in here. Y'all ain't making no motherfucking money. I'm going to show y'all what to do with this snatch. Y'all ain't Watch this shit. Y'all Watch what the fuck I do here. Y'all ain't done that snatch butterfly across the stage for have you? That's uh-huh. what I did at the end of the last show. I done did my snatch butterfly flew across the stage. Yep. I got all the dollars off of all these other hoes ass little bitch ass motherfuckers. I just jump on that motherfucker's face. I don't give a damn. I that's just, what's wrong with y'all. I flew away like that's a snatch a, butterfly. A y'all that's bitches got standards. I ain't got none. Right. <laughs> I can't be doing that. Y'all bitches think yeah, up look, here like you got standards and shit. I'm making who got more money. Would have probably the female multiverse version of you would probably <laughs> have done that. Oh, now we're in the multiverse with her. Might as well. Come over there on the other side. If you was, was, if day, you was a fucking flat earth Dave Ozone layer. <laughs> if you was a fucking number woman, one. All right. You said if you was a woman, you'd be stripping. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking a lesbian. Yeah. So for exactly. fun. The lesbian yeah. for, for fun. I'd be stripping, stripping for bills. money. Yeah. Lesbian for the I'm enjoyment of it. I'm not whoring. I'm just I'm just, you know, stripping. If you're if you're a stripper with your same mentality as a woman like you go hard in the paint as it is now. You would go hard in the paint stripping. You'd have your own fucking getup. You come out to the stage with fucking a whole setup that you done built. They'd be like, all right. Oh, they won't let that fly. Coming to the stage. Coming to the stage, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands, put your hands together. Here it comes, Julie Bell. Julie Bell. Julie Bell. Julie Bell. <laughs> Chew the bell. Turn right, this thing's mic off. Coming to the stage. Turn this thing's mic off. You're going to sit in the corner for a minute. Chew the bell. Yeah, Chew the bell. Chew the bell. I was waiting for him to bring a lady yeah. name. He brought Chew the bell. Chew the bell. Chew the bell. Ah, damn. Ah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the uh, stage, Jula Bell. Uh, she's got her custom-made stand so that she can get high enough in the air to fly away on her vagina yeah, so butterfly lips. Camp. Who is going to be the lucky man that her snatch is going to land on? Is it you, sir? Come on up to the stage. Jula Bell. Jula Bell. Jula Bell, get your ass out here, girl. Jula Bell will give you such a good fucking uh, uh, dance. You will, if you're gay, you'll sound like this afterwards. Yes, sir. Turn around and tell those people. Oh. Tell I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. Oh, I like men no more. You got I got some of that Judah Bell pussy. I got women. Oh, shit. I'm not gay. You got Judah Bell out here turning men straight. I would not tear a purse. I would not put on makeup. I will. I will. Love a woman. <laughs> I will love a I woman. I will love a woman. I got some Julie Bell pussy. Um, I got that Julie Bell pussy. You got motherfuckers in there screaming, Julie Bell, Julie Bell. <laughs> Where's Julie Bell? Julie Bell ain't working tonight. I don't even want to be a bear. Yeah, they uh, showed up for Julie Bell. Yeah. And Julie Bell. <laughs> Julie Bell off tonight, man. Julie Bell straightening out the gays over here. <laughs> Vixens <laughs> in West Virginia. Oh, shit. Oh, man. This motherfucking dude here, man. He's something else. <laughs> He's got that Julie Bell pussy in the house. <laughs> Yeah. I guess we got to call him Jula Bell. Oh, he's definitely getting the AKA Jula Bell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Multiverse Jula Bell. <laughs> Jula Ladies and gentlemen, Jula Bell, hottest stripper at Vixens. Jula Bell got the good hair. <laughs> Jula Bell got that good hair. You know what I'm saying? She's been using product in it since she was a preteen. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Oh, man, because this motherfucker going to have, like I said, the whole playground jungle gym set up. He Tony, Jula Bell is turning bar. the gay straight. Listen, listen. I'm not gay no more. <laughs> I am delivered. I'm, he said, I am delivered. I He's like been delivered by that Jula Bell pussy. Oh, shit. This motherfucker here. <laughs> he would, you know what? You would probably strip until you fucking couldn't strip no more. You'd be that old bitch that's well, up yeah. in there. That fucking motherfucker's like, ah, oh, damn, she's still here? <laughs> Jula Bell's still in this bitch? Yeah, like, I'd, be that, I'd be that one. <laughs> <laughs> the stripper that never moved on. People come back 20 years later and be like, damn, Jula Bell, you're still here? And you'd be like, yeah, he, he. I mean, we thought you were going to get like. Uh, I don't know, a, a veterinarian job. assistant yeah. job or some shit. Man, but. fuck that. This is a real job right here. 
Come here. I've you been, want to lap dance? I've been maintaining. Yeah, no shit, because he's going to have Botox and baby dick cream. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? I put the baby dick cream episode of the podcast up where we were talking about ba- when I was you're going to shave my balls and put baby dick cream on them. <laughs> Make them all fucking tight. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and so that episode Fuck. that episode <laughs> when I put it on Instagram the the notice right there's some person or bot or something and it changes its name periodically yeah and it likes that that post over and over and it's like it unlikes it and then relikes it it changes its name or something I don't know what it is some sort of bot it's it's some it's always some like but see, some chick that's a stripper chick or something. Even when you shit. was a kid, your balls was wrinkled. You know what I mean? So you never had smooth balls. You come out of a motherfucking pocket, but hey, girl, check this out. I got smooth nuts. What? Yeah, that's just making them smooth. Yeah. That's just yeah. making it smooth and nice. It's not necessarily. It's like they've been ironed. Right, right. You can't take <laughs> yeah. away the wrinkles. Yeah. But you can smooth them out on occasion. Yeah, you know? It's just about the way. It's just about the way the skin sits. Yeah, yeah. Hey, let me just. You want. Hey, let me just teabag you. Watch. <laughs> it's very smooth. I'm going to go across your forehead. These and balls are so smooth. smooth. They are. These balls are so smooth. How could you not want to suck on them? You know, like you got a migraine here. Lay down. It just uh, too bad. Need a ball wrinkler, D wrinkler. A ball D wrinkler. And that's what he said. He's gonna get that baby dick cream yeah. and slap on there. I'm gonna shave yeah, him down and hit the, the baby dick cream. It'll take away the wrinkles. If it makes Sandra Bullock look, look as young as she looks, it'll make my balls look mad smooth. And she shouldn't do that to herself because she still get it too. Oh, there ain't nothing wrong yeah. with her. Nah. She didn't need to put baby the cream on her face. <laughs> you wash it off, though, man. Not like you just... I don't know how you're supposed to do it. No, you, it's you supposed to absorb in. I mean, no, baby the like... cream absorbs in. Yeah, so so, she, yeah, so take away the wrinkles. She's absorbing baby the cream through the skin. All right, well, you, you just... She got a lot of baby fucking, You sucking on her cheek and shit when you when y'all <laughs> suck it like her, like right above her nose and shit like you sucking on all that like, like <laughs> giving, giving her like a little face hickey and shit. What you the fuck's the matter? She got baby dick cream on. You don't grill. know what the fuck she into. But she baby dick cream on on the pores, but, man. But I mean, she's probably not putting baby dick cream on and then four minutes later being like, "Come over here, let's get it on." Yeah, let you me know cream what I mean? up. Oh, let me cream up. All right, come on, take me. <laughs> She's she's gonna wanna like have sex with you after after the baby cream's been absorbed for the day. Hey, cream up. <laughs> take me, take me down, you big black motherfucker. Take me down. This wow. pussy is yours. Is that Sandra Bullock? <laughs> Who's she fucking? Who's Sandra fucking? <laughs> oh, How do you shit. fuck like a goddamn rampage? <laughs> A silverback. I've never been fucked like a silverback. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's easy. <laughs> they go hard to paint. You ain't never seen that shit. Can you be easy? So, Let's turn around here and get this shit all the way up. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. What's <laughs> oh. up, wrong with y'all, y'all? y'all. <laughs> right, it's us. I mean, I wasn't talking like this earlier before y'all got here. Before y'all got here, I wasn't talking anything like this. I was just hanging out here just staring at the TV, just getting high as fuck, just drinking. Now they are talking all this complete nonsense and shit like that, and it's my fault. You know what I mean? That's where I'm at. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's my fault. <laughs> Judah Bell yeah. starting to come out. <laughs> <laughs> That's why people start needing therapy around here every now and then. They're like, yeah, it wasn't my fault earlier, but it's my fault now. Like, what the fuck? I'm fine with it myself. Oh, I don't man. complain at all. Yeah. If it wasn't for these other people in the world, I would be just fine. Oh, man. God, dog. Son of a Mickey Flick right there. God, my head's hurting. <laughs> I mean, Shit. You know, <laughs> sometimes I may be like, this. I may be normal, and everybody else is is crazy. You ever think about anything like that? It can't be the case with me. Yeah, I can't no, be the only, I can't be the only that's, normal mom. That's got to be what it is. But, it, but it, it, like to a normal person, they got to think that. You know, what I mean, that kind of makes sense. But I can't. Well, you technically, know. you can't really define normal. <sighs> well, I don't believe I'm a, a normal individual. <sighs> no, you're an anomaly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You really are, dude. 
<laughs> Ain't nobody like this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> to this day, and I've met a lot of motherfucking people. Ain't never been a motherfucker. Nowhere near close to you. <laughs> Ain't no near not a motherfucker near the Jew. <sighs> you, sir, are the original motherfucker. Oh, cheers to that. You're, a, you. you're a bad shit motherfucker for sure. Oh man. man, fucking head hurt. God damn it, I need to take some Advil after this bitch. <laughs> Fuck. But like Shit. I said, now man. you start to picture how it was for me every uh, time you came to the house back in the day to make us new songs. You'd have to throw something at his ass, tell him shut the fuck up. Dude, he would leave, and I would have to like concentrate on breathing deeply for like two or three minutes to just get my head to stop We'd hurting. have to stop sometimes. We couldn't do nothing. I, I mean, literally, I would have the hiccups, and I'd be like, y'all gotta go. <laughs> you know? Like, y'all got to leave. Oh man! Like tears in my eyes, laughing like you gotta leave. You can't be here anymore. Sometimes Focus. it was like that though. Sometimes I'd be like, "Yo, I got two tracks, man, and then I gotta roll." I'd be like, what the fuck? It's like I would literally drive fucking thirty minutes, <laughs> forty minutes to hit two or three tracks. I do gotta give him that. Right around and he was really dedicated to the damn mixtape because that motherfucker <laughs> that day he showed up to my house with the fucking CD and was like, "Here you go," and then left. Like, uh-huh. what the fuck is this? He goes, it's my mixtape. He, he knocked on the door, handed me the motherfucking CD, that's my mixtape, and rolled the fuck out. Drove all the way up to my house and then left. He was planting the seeds for I the said, show. I was making millions, man. Like I said, we were, you're, you're, Jay, was, Jay rolled up there a couple times with me, man, but we'd be up there looking. Um, yeah, there was no telling. You would be there. Sometimes Jay would be there. But it was, <clears throat> it was always a uh, situation of, all right, my head hurts. We've done two yeah, or three this of these. Time is, is, we're done. And I can't breathe. I'm laughing. Yeah. Like, because he'd be in there and I'd be, like, in other part of the house trying not to, like, laugh out loud. <laughs> so, you know, like, the harder you try not to laugh, the worse it gets. The harder it is to not laugh. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like watching a kid fall and, you know, you're not supposed to laugh when kids fall, but nah, that shit's funny. <sighs> Man, I, fall, I laugh. People fall and it's fucking funny. I laugh funny. when people fall. I'll pick I'll help my Because I know so my black ass. When I fall, it's fucking hilarious. When a big motherfucker falls, people lose it. And they look at you with a fucking, oh, you shouldn't be laughing when a little kid falls. Fuck you, bitch. If I fall the same way that little motherfucking kid did, you're going to lose it. For real. Especially when these little kids, they fall down. And they don't hurt near as much as these old motherfuckers. Oh, when they fall no. God, hell no. Man. You be they bounce right. back. You be all right, you little bastard. Like I was telling my boy the other day, he jumped off of something. I was like, damn. <laughs> Motherfucker, enjoy them good knees right now. Because they're going to get fucked up later. Just letting you know. Enjoy your shit right now. Well, don't do nothing too stupid, Junior. And you might be all right. But, you know. You can't count on that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. Uh, I remember them days. Like I was telling fucking Layla. Layla asked me the other day. She asked me how you got your nickname. And she was like, why do you call Uncle Uncle Cricket Uncle Cricket? And I told her how he got his name. I was like, man, your uncle, when we used to chill back in the day when we were younger, he had a fort at fucking his house. And instead of him climbing down the ladder to go back to the porch, he jumped from the fort to the porch. I said, and he looked Cuban. That was before I knew he was part Japanese. I thought he was part Cuban. So I would call him the Cuban Cricket. They come to find out now nah, he's actually part Japanese, but by then that stuck. <laughs> well, you're a Japanese grasshopper then, right? Yeah, we met that. We, we met, met him. him. It was a Mexican grasshopper. That's a Mexican grasshopper. Yeah, that's a whole other world. Yeah, we met him at a strip club. Fuck it, this dude was like, man, we went outside. Was like, man, he's like, yeah, y'all motherfuckers, uh, y'all smelling good. And we're like, yeah, no shit, motherfucker, we burn. Uh-huh. Like, so do I. He's like, man, y'all trying to burn? And we can't leave this club. He's like, nah, I know the people. Come on. All right. We roll out with this motherfucker. We in the car. We rolling up. And he was like, uh, what's y'all name? I was like, man, I'm Big Mike, whatever. That's my man, Cricket. He goes, what? Cricket? I said, yeah, Cuban Cricket. He was like, motherfucker, hey, we cousins. I'm the Mexican grasshopper. I'm like, well, fuck, there you go. Let's roll up, man. We got fucked up that night. Yeah, man. Mexican God, grasshopper man. and the Cuban Cricket. Yep. Up in that motherfucking strip club, we was wild because I think at the end of the night, I think it was only just us three in that bitch. Pretty much the most of the fucking night. We, we was on the couch. Usually closing bitches down unless I get us kicked out. <coughs> yeah. Talking too loud. Yeah, it That's just depends true. on how the night goes. That's true. You've been actually good on your behavior from the last two strip clubs that I've heard so far. The I mean, the last few times, bad. the last time I went with him, yeah. the only time I've been with him, he seemed like a perfectly naturally I, I see, That's because he wasn't gentleman. turned all the way up. But see, I just, see, I get, he my problem is I get loud, and then they think I'm drunk. 
Just because I'm loud. Well, that's but you are you get, drunk too. You get, I am, but I'm not loud because I'm drunk. I'm no. just loud because I'm fucking loud. You get I understand loud, that. But you get ignorant in your voice and of your opinion. <laughs> that's what happens. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Say that again, Mike. He gets loud when he's voicing his opinion. Like, when he, and he's not articulate with it. So it's more like, oh, you got that bitch don't want that motherfucking money? Well, fuck you, hoes, then. Goddamn, I want to get spit on that damn money. That's a little excessive. That's a little excessive. I've heard I mean, it, it come out your mind. Obsessive. I've heard you. You went up to the stage one time, got mad, threw money. Well, fuck y'all and take my money in. Leave me fuck alone. Y'all want this money here? So wait, you threw a handful of money at the table and then got kicked out? He yeah. He's yeah. throwing money. I, like, the last time we went when we was in South Carolina, that's what I saw. But it wasn't because of him. It's because this bitch that was with us bit another bitch's titty. And fuck it, I come out the bathroom and I hear him and all I see him just throw his money in the air. Like, bitch, you need that shit. Why you gonna throw that motherfucker in the air? Like, fuck that. He's got that bitch don't want my money, he'll hear. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, you, just, you, you leave your money in your pocket. You don't throw that shit on the way out the door. You're so offended. Like, you got money like that, so you just throw it on the way out the door? I was done with my money then. Then. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. He'll... Fuck it, just all right. I'm out, y'all, and just throw the money in there. Like, what? Nah, motherfucker, that's breakfast or some shit right there. We can stop getting something to eat. You want to just throw the motherfucker in money in the bitch? You could get a schmegel like that, dog. I had breakfast. I had breakfast. Yeah, in we the had other that, but I'm just saying I had breakfast money in the other pocket. Like I said, I was ignorant with my money then, bro. I I ignorant. He, yo, ignorant was the word. I lost that. I had a boat for sure. I had a boat. Oh, definitely, definitely. All the motherfucking money I've seen this motherfucker just throw. Now you th- you just throw you threw. Boat money at the fucking strippers. He Is throws that, it in the air. He, I, 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 I'm, I'm saying though. I made, yeah, I made, made it rain plenty of times. I made it rain plenty of times. I've also showed up with my homies and gave everybody a stack of hun, hundos. Yep. Like here, y'all go. Appreciate y'all. Huh, come with me. Yep. <laughs> Do what y'all want with them. Ex- yep. I'll tell. I'm ignorant. Ignorant with that money. I was ignorant with that money. I was making good money, just whatever, for no and, reason. And I was like, "Well, I'm gonna spend it for no reason." So you feel like you wouldn't do this now? Fuck you, no. I, well, you're I mean, less I, ignorant I, now. I, mm. uh, I know now what I know now. Like I said, I'd be on the water. We'd be zooming this bitch right now because I'd be shit. Shit. I'd be on some water warm. I tell you what, it wouldn't happen. You'd be out on that cold ass water. Which a choppy nah, ass. No, I won't be down here. I'll be like down here, you know. Choppy ass internet connection. Florida. We'd be up in here. It'd be the Mike and Mason show. Uh, Eminem. That's right. <laughs> It'd be the Eminem's in the in Mason's basement show. I'm fucking uh how, far as him being less ignorant, I think he's more in control of the ignorance. I don't think he's got I don't think it's lessened. I think he's got a little. It, it so he to keeps he, his ignorance to himself more now. Yes. You don't spew your ignorance out upon the public around you. Look. <laughs> I speak the truth. All right, and it's not my fault that there ain't you know them certain people that you know. You can't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth. Did you? Kind of shit, you know what I'm screaming? Like, I tell the bitch, like, like the one time we was at a strip club. I said, bitch, can I get a dance? And she said, I didn't say bitch, but, you know, can I get a dance? And no. She said, no. And I said, she said, why would I do that? And I, but then, you know, well, bitch, could you use a stripper? <laughs> I mean, what, what, what are we here for? You know what I mean? So then we had to leave that place. true. Because I was like, I can't I can't be here. I don't know what we're here for. I can't I don't know what we're here for. Like what what the fuck are we here for? Yeah, no, I remember that. I remember so, hearing about this. And so, you know, and I'll tell, you know if I see people in there acting like VIP and they're taking all the strippers' time not spending no money, I'll get ignorant and start See, but that's you getting. What y'all def- doing over there? Let's spend some no, money. No, 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 no. That's you getting offended like on shit that ain't but got nothing to do no, with you. He walks in front of these motherfuckers. He'll walk right up to them, walk in front. What y'all motherfuckers don't know how to spend this? What y'all let broke? me show y'all. This is the fuck y'all need to be what doing. Y'all do that shit. And just throw money. <laughs> I'm like, ah, especially because at them certain times, if people get the VIP held up, then then we just over here in the corner. The only spot we can get at. You know what I mean? I'll tuckle in up in some fucked up shit. So it's like, <laughs> I go over there and be like, you know, what? <laughs> 
<laughs> fuck y'all doing? You know what I mean? I know y'all got money. Walk I know right every one of y'all spot. motherfuckers got money. Don't even give a fuck. Just walk right up in their shit. What y'all here for? What y'all doing? Y'all ain't making no fuck. Look at these. You got these bitches up here. Y'all motherfuckers ain't paying no motherfucking money. Man, this is what the fuck y'all be doing. Y'all should be doing this right here. Not looking at the stripper, just looking at them. Throwing money. Y'all should be doing this. You're 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 like a teacher. You're like, do you remember the episode of Sopranos where Tony Soprano rolled up on the dude in the baseball hat at the nice restaurant, told him to take the hat off? I uh, folks saying, I've never seen Sopranos. See, so like, that's what you're doing at the strip club. You're you're doing the equivalents, right? They in this nice restaurant, and this douchebag comes in. He sits down with his girl. He's got his hat on. And Tony Soprano gets all mad, and he rolls over, and he's like, you know, take the fucking hat off. Like here, I'll play it for you. But see, like, it's not even the strip clubs. This this is him in real life doing this shit at random places. When he was younger, he was more wide open. Like I don't even know if you could. Your driving hasn't changed. That 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 I don't think that's changed. That's not. Yeah, I'm I'm moved. See, but this is how you feel about it. Listen over here. We're gonna cap at a nice restaurant like this. <laughs> that's how you feel about a stripper. That's one of the things I hated most when I had my restaurant. That's one thing I hated most when I go to strip club. Standards are crumbling. She's, you have standards. You hear that? I would have killed his coach to stick around until my kid graduates. Uh, anyway, but like, you are so offended by the strip club people not paying the strippers when they deserve money. Like, it's yeah. equivalent to you of a man wearing a hat in I, a nice restaurant. I get, I, I get, I don't like them. They like, they. This is you. You're fucking with me. Excuse me? They don't sell hot dogs here. They took the bleachers out two years ago. <laughs> it's my hat. I'll wear it where I want. He just stares at him. That's what you need to learn how to do. Run up on him and stare. Scare the girl. Scare yeah. the girl with the dude at the strip club that's not paying money. Scare these people. The man takes the hat off. I'm telling you. That's the scene right there. How you doing? <laughs> and then he flirts with the girl. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing, sweetie? What's happening? But this, uh, I'm telling you, younger him and versus this him now, he's able to control it except when he's behind the wheel. When he's behind the wheel, nah, it's just as fucking ignorant as he was when he was younger. See, like, and that's I, the actually, damn truth. Actually, no, that's your worse. worse Cause you yeah. didn't told us this story yeah. about you all up in here with the lights on, staring at a motherfucker in the car going you're 80 miles an hour. Fuck that motherfucker, man. Get out of the goddamn way. Don't see, but look at you. Like, you're so run, fucking mad. mad. Just don't run up on me and shit like that's I'm in your motherfucking way. You're and then way flick worse me off. Here's, here's the thing, though. No, here's the thing, though. If you if you was riding in the right hand lane at 85 miles an hour and this dude come blue by at 95, would you have noticed? Would it have happened? He's no, like, man, this motherfucker's scooting I'd faster yeah, than me. Yeah, I'd just been like, damn, he, he getting it. He got somewhere to go. See, I'd fire it up and be riding behind a motherfucker like uh, that, not that so that they can catch the ticket. When they dump on the brakes, I dump on the brakes. Hopefully, I'm only going 75 when he's going 85 when the cops see him. Yeah, it depends on what he's driving and where. Because, look, I've been with this So, wait a minute. So, you hate on a motherfucker based on the vehicle well, that he's driving? Now, well, that's not true. Because when we're coming up 95, I do, I'll get behind somebody. If they start scooting, I'll get behind them motherfuckers. Or, and, and I'll try or, to do, you know, let's drive, motherfucker. Yeah, because he get with him. But then he'll get into this mood where he just ends up being like, all of a sudden, he's a racer now. You know what I mean? Well, sometimes you got to be like that because 95, See, like, you got to hit your gap. Because nah, if you don't hit your gap, no. then you got a track trailer coming over at 74 mile an hour no, trying no, to get around I'm to do a 73 mile an hour. And I'm then there you are. No. Fuck. I'm talking about you and these damn Mustangs. <laughs> Fuck a Mustang. That motherfucker. Exactly. None of them motherfuckers exactly. not driving them exactly. things. They look cool. Exactly. I just got random some bitches. I'm this like, yeah, you got it. He'll see a Mustang hit cool up. He's like, you got to tap your brakes. That means it's time to go. <laughs> see? See? At that time. What? Yeah. Hey, he's, he's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look. That was look, I was just fucking with you, bro. I don't Explain. do that all the time. Explain. So look, I remember I was trying to I was trying to fuck with them. I think I run up on their ass and smack the brake on them and shit when they be over there bullshit. We, we was going down. They to speed up a little bit. And he was like, "Man, these fucking Mustangs don't want to see this motherfucker." Because what was we in? We was in like uh, a fucking, a fucking goddamn Altima or some shit. Yeah, that's what we was in. We was in shit, You know what I mean? A he kid, was like, "Man, a kid something." You know what I mean? Everybody was trying. And he started bitching you know? about fucking Mustangs and shit. He seen when he's like, "Yo, I'm gonna fuck with this dude." We roll up. 
up. Oh, he's right next to the motherfucker, right? <laughs> so he pulls up ahead, taps the brake. He's like, all right, that told him. He knows I'm ready to go. He's right here. Beside him, not in front of him. I ain't going in front of him. Brake now, like, you know, you know, we're in the other lane. He, we're in the right lane. He's in the left lane. We pull up. You know, he can see our brake lights. He taps the motherfucker. And all of a sudden, here we go. Mustang pulls off his motherfucker. What do he racing? <laughs> now we're race car drivers now. You know what I mean? So the Mustang's racing you all of a sudden. I was right Bruh, behind him, every man. Fast. Fucking Mustang we saw he did this shit to. <laughs> Everyone, he be, yo, we got one coming up on the back. Hold on, I'm tapping brakes now. As soon as he pull up, we go. As soon as that motherfucker pull up, all right, here we go. Like, God damn it. This motherfucker here. I'm like, you know what? I'm just riding. I know I ain't going to get no ticket. You just looking to start shit with people. On the road, you're just looking to start shit with people. Sometimes it gets that way. I think he gets bored. That's what I was about I to really say. I really think he gets bored. What are you fucking bored? I like, think that's what it is. Is, your nu- is life that dull <laughs> that you have to piss off everyone on the highway around you? I don't know why people get mad when I just try to go by. I'm just trying to go by you, motherfucker. That's it. Just let me go around you. I mean, what the problem is, B? Shit, what the problem is, B? Bullshit. I mean, I, you know. That's some I think in his mind, he gets bored because if he gets to going, he I don't get bored. I just ride. I go 80 fucking mile an hour everywhere. And some motherfuckers all of a sudden think I'm trying to race everywhere when I'm just trying to drive where I'm going fast. Now, I got to give you so this. So then motherfuckers been brake checking and skirting. And then when, it, when I get brake checked, then I get aggravated. I get violent with brake checks. I can't stand brake checks. Why do you want to ruin your car? Because I'll See, run right into you. Here's the you know thing. What I mean? I don't give a fuck. Here's the thing. Why must you ride someone's ass so much? They feel the need to brake check you. Um. Well, because they're in the way. <laughs> Usually they're in the left lane, not going fast enough. In the way. Get over. I don't give a fuck if Tim's going 62. Get get behind him. You're going 63. Get out of the fuck way. See, get out of the way. Now wait get a minute. Out of the way. Now wait a minute. You're the asshole riding 85 in the left hand lane, getting mad at the motherfucker that's tailgating you in the left hand lane, right? Yeah, when he go around. Right. It clearly needs to go faster than 80 fucking five mile an hour. See, but you run up on a motherfucker and don't go around him. Well, I can't. If I can't, uh, look, if I, look, motherfucker, if I go around a motherfucker, I'm going around a motherfucker. If there's asphalt, I'm going around a motherfucker. I'm t- I'll tell you what. Turning lane, exit lane, I'm the going only, around a motherfucker. The only thing Entrance I'm, lane. The only thing I'm trying to point out to you is you're full of shit. You're a fucking hypocrite. <laughs> well, you see me You're a ride, fucking so. hypocrite. I drove in the I rode in the car with you when we were like 23, 22. Yeah, ain't nothing changed. And I ain't got in the car with you since. It's well, gotten ain't nothing changed. Other than the time we went to D.C. that time and you was flashing your lights at the fucking cop while we were riding oh, around dry, with illegal up, shit yeah. in our fucking car. Because somebody fake hoving. You Because somebody is nothing. fake hoving. He wants to snitch on another you're motherfucker. A fucking narc. <laughs> yeah. You're a fake hoving. Yes, I, I was a fake hove narc for about seven months and I never turned nobody in. But I couldn't stand them cock eyed bitches, tried. man. You tried. You Fuck. tried. He Fuck just, those assholes, man. Fuck. You're like a there. Karen. You're worse hey, than a Karen. Hey, hey, hey. He over there. Look at him. He's hey, so smart, he man. He's over. Yeah. I'm going 80 in the 75. That guy just passed me in 83 yeah, in the high fine. hovain lane. Come on, now. He's in the fake hovain. He was more legal than me. <laughs> but should, why should, why don't you understand the principle of when I'm breaking the law, I need to shut the fuck up and not attract attention to myself? Well, I'm why don't you understand always, that? I'm always breaking the law because I'm not putting my fucking seatbelt on. I'm ready to die, man. Fuck you with my seatbelt, motherfucker. <laughs> I really got to move to Alaska so I can drive around without my motherfucking seatbelt? Dude, there's eight motherfuckers that live around there? And one person got a car? I mean, goddamn. You the know fuck? what? That law is kind of ironic when you think about it because in South Carolina, they can ride around. Ride, ride a motorcycle without a helmet, but you got to be in the car with your seatbelt. You put a seatbelt on. No, because when you're on a motorcycle, you're already a projectile, whether you have a helmet on or not. So you're the person that's most likely to get fucked up. But when the Jew gets pitched out of the car and hits the old lady walking down the street, like I said, the last episode we talked yeah, about yeah. this, that's where the fucking issue well, is. Like you're already that projectile as a motorcycle they rider. They should be putting walking lanes in for these dumbass white people that want to walk by the highway or ride their bike because the leaves look fucking pretty. Well, look, I, mean, I don't disagree with that. Yeah, These I mean, pretty leave driving ass motherfuckers piss me off. Well, yeah. I came over a hill one time trying to get to work in my blazer and damn near ran over a motherfucker in a convertible mini. I'm like, you guys realize you're going to be fucking dead? Like, and they're pointing out into the fucking woods and shit. Like, I don't know what yeah. you're pointing at. If it's a deer, if it's a fucking tree. They I found a very rare red cockatoo. Moss or something hanging off a tree or something. 
Look at that, baby. We can have that in our house. Let's put that in the sunroom. Whatever it is, it's some seriously stupid shit. Now you can enjoy nature. Just park at one of these nature trails and walk at bitch. Uh -huh. We got the Appalachian Mountains. Uh -huh. Go for it. Like there's plenty of places to go and see things oh, yeah. without clogging up roads Fucking and highways shit up. that people drive down to get to work. But uh, you know, ladies and gentlemen, with that said, we're gonna have to bring this episode of stupidity to a close. Oh yeah. We're going to want to thank you so much for listening. We'd like to encourage you to listen to all the episodes. Like, share, subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. Please do. That's right. Don't bug art this bitch. And, um, you know, be nice to people that look like you. Be nice to people that don't look like you. Don't be a dick. Little bits by little bits, ladies and gentlemen. Keep moving forward. That's right. Uh, protect your mental health. Protect your mental energy. Protect uh, all that shit that matters to you. Yeah, go to therapy. With your crazy ass if you need that. Yo, check this out. Peep in next motherfucking episode, man. It's the New Year episode, yeah. That's Fuck right. Some bitch. We're we gonna, gonna be, be back. There. We're gonna be here for this year and next year. So. Uh huh. And uh, you know, with us. keep grinding on the shit you're trying to get done because that is how things get done. We believe in you. That's right. And uh, don't forget, we love you very much. Love y'all. Uh, peace be with you. Go. Peace.